can't help staring at you. You seem like someone I knew as a child. I'm sorry. There's just something about your energy that I'm drawn to. I'm LASIK. Yeah, as in the surgery. What's your name? No. It's a great name. It's just a name that shows up a lot in my life. I'm sorry, I'm being ridiculous. It's just not every day. What are you drinking? Sancerre? That's like my second favorite white wine. You know what? Where are you from? You're from Tennessee? I wrote a poem about Tennessee once. <laughs> because I'm not the kind of jaded, manipulative person you're used to meeting. I'm kind of pure. <laughs> a pure poet, I guess. No, I'm not arrogant. I just know what I like. Like this drink I'm having. And you. Let me get you another drink. What do you have? Okay, you know what? I am so psyched about this one drink. If you like Sancerre, you'll love this. I'll be right back. Ugh. It's so friggin' hot out tonight. I'm so sore from work and working out. I'm a bricklayer. Yeah. You wouldn't think so, but I get a lot of work. But I still have enough time to be a volunteer fireman on the weekend, so I guess it's not that hard. Yeah. A lot of people say it's pretty noble. But I just do what I do. Someone real. Not like, keeping it real, but real. Well, when I wasn't in the Peace Corps, I went to uh, Evergreen State for hiking and literature. Then I went to um, Columbia for my Master's in American History with an emphasis on the 70s. I also drive a fishing boat in my spare time. And I perform massage on the side. Sometimes I massage myself. <laughs> I like your shirt. Uh-huh. Club Monaco, uh-huh. <laughs> Do you like your drink? Great, great. This is a totally weird question, but how many glasses of alcohol do you consume weekly? One to five, five to seven, seven to 10? <laughs> I don't know, I'm just curioso. <laughs> Look at the fucking stars. <laughs> Dumb, but what's your sign? Pisces? No. It's a great sign. It's just a sign that shows up a lot in my life. You good with constellations? I know a little. It's sort of a knowledge that's been handed down through the men in my family. My grandpa and I were really close. I'm really close with my father, my father's father, and he who was before him. So there's Cassiopeia. And right next to it is Andromeda. And if you follow that center line down, all the way down, you come to Hakalapodakia, god of the spearfishers. And in his hand, he's holding a knife, sharpened, upward, to the fish. Pisces. You. God, what am I saying? Tell me about yourself. That must have been hard. <laughs> Darling, keep talking. And then you... Right. Right. <laughs> you are so quick. <laughs> How long have we known each other? Like two minutes? I'm having a really good time with you right now. I was just thinking the exact same thing you were thinking, except I was also thinking that I wish someone else in the world thought that way. <laughs> So, look, I just don't want to be hurt, okay? <laughs> Saying so much. I'll be honest with you. I used to go out a lot. I used to party pretty hard. I used to have long hair. I used to be a Mountain Dew model. I used to live in Portland. 
I used to date Alan Cumming, but now I'm into focusing on what I love, my guitar, my boat, and looking for some regular guy who isn't all modely. <laughs> Maybe we could, you know, tomorrow, go out in my boat and I could show you some private, really magical places that I've never brought anyone to before and are untouched by man. <laughs> Maybe you could come over to my house from the 1930s that I built in the water last summer, and I could introduce you to my two black cats named after a Flannery O'Connor short story. <laughs> and my dog named Barkley that I rescued from the town last month. And I could play this song that I wrote about how amazing it would be to meet you, or someone like you, and massage you, and look into your eyes until I reach into that private room that you keep hidden from anyone. And you could cry wrenchingly in my arms. In the morning, I'll wake up all scruffy, make pancakes and strong coffee, and Barkley will come up and put his head on your lap. <laughs> Are you cold? Are you thirsty? Are you hungry? Is the air of music bothering you? Do you have enough money? Do you want to go to Australia with me? <laughs> Hold on. I just made 10 mixed CDs for you based on various moods. I have a CD burner in my bag. <laughs> Should I just have so many questions for you, like, do you like your drink? Do you like the taste? And your other interests, do you like blends, shelter magazines, vacations? What would you say your income is? Under 30,000, between 30 and 60,000, over 60? Come on, man, I want some details on those beautiful lips. Would you say you have no college, some college, junior college, a degree from an accredited university, or two more years at a New York City acting school like HP Studios? <laughs> Can you guess what you're drinking? You won't believe it. It's tequila. <laughs> it only has 20 carbs. That makes four of these as fattening as one beer. The drink I purchased for you is a mixture of tequila with grapefruit juice and a touch of lime. But tequila can be used in buttloads of ways. <laughs> Pretty soon it's going to be your favorite Alcopotam alternative. <laughs> could I get you in a picture with it? <laughs> if you could just hold the label outward. And could you look really thirsty? <laughs> and a little more gay. I mean affluent, I mean athletic. <laughs> great, great. You are so hot, man. So, I guess I'm going to bolt. <laughs> this has been really overwhelming. <laughs> you can call me. My number is 1-800-T-E-Q-I-Z-A-R-O-X. That's 1-800-T-E-Q-I-Z-A-R-O-X. You know that feeling I sort of inspire in you? Well, you can get that from Tequiza anytime. <laughs> I know you'll like it. Like the way you like me. Damn it, it's great meeting.